Welcome to WIH TV. Let's have a quick look on the events of November 1945. On first day of November 1945, the Operation Night of the Trains was carried out. It was first operation carried out by Jewish resistance movement to sabotage operation of the British Railways in Palestine. 21 German bankers were arrested on suspicion of war crimes. On second day of November, in Egypt the Balfour Day riots took place between the riots began as anti-Jewish demonstrations on the 28th anniversary of the Balfour Declaration. Five Egyptian Jews and one Muslim policeman were killed in Alexandria. On November 3, a declaration was made in Indonesia, encouraging the formation of political parties as part of democracy. Irvin Charles Mollison was sworn in as a U.S. Customs Court judge in New York City, becoming the first African American to serve on the federal bench within the continental United States. On 4 November, riots by Arabs in Libya killed at least 121 Jews. British troops fired on the rioters and arrested over 500. Parliamentary elections were held in Hungary, won by the Independent Smallholders Party. On day 5, 43,000 dockers in Britain ended their unofficial seven-week strike. The United States Supreme Court decided United States v. Detroit and Cleveland Navigation Company. On day 7, Royal Air Force pilot Hugh J. Wilson set a new world speed record, flying the Gloucester Meteor jet at an average speed of 606 miles per hour over Hearn Bay, England. On day 8, British commander E.C. Mansur ordered all Indonesians to surrender their arms by 6 a.m. Saturday or face all the naval, army and air forces under my command. That night President Sukarno of the unrecognized Indonesian Republic appealed to President Truman and Prime Minister Atli to intervene in the conflict to prevent bloodshed. In Budapest, former Hungarian Prime Minister Laszlo Bardasi was sentenced to death. He was one of the chief architects of Hungary's involvement in World War II. He was executed by firing squad. Regular civic air traffic began between London and New York. On November 10, Indonesian Republican troops counterattacked during the Battle of Surabaya. November 10 is annually celebrated as Heroes Day to commemorate the event. Five Germans were hanged for the murder of six American airmen in the Russelsheim massacre of August 26, 1944. On November 11, the Indo-Chinese Communist Party voluntarily dissolved itself in order to destroy all domestic and foreign misunderstanding, which can hinder the liberation of the country. On November 12, the government of the unrecognized Indonesian Republic asked the Soviet Union to intervene in the conflict on behalf of the Indonesians. On November 13, the United States and Britain agreed to create a joint commission of inquiry to examine the question of European Jews and Palestine. On 14 November, riots broke out in Tel Aviv over the United States and British statement on Palestine. The incident killed two and wounded 57. On November 16, UNESCO was founded. On 17 November, French President Charles de Gaulle made a broadcast to the people of France announcing that he was handing back his mandate as president to the French Assembly. Because of excessive demands regarding ministerial posts, de Gaulle said he was willing to continue serving as president but would refuse to entrust a communist with any post related to foreign affairs. Nazis Bergen-Belsen concentration camp Commandant Joseph Kramer and female guard Irma Greza and nine others were sentenced to death on the gallows as Nazi war criminals. On November 18, parliamentary elections were held in Bulgaria. The Bulgarian Agrarian National Union and the Bulgarian Communist Party both won 94 seats. The Portuguese legislative election was held. The National Union won all 120 seats uncontested when the opposition movement of Democratic Unity boycotted the election, alleging electoral fraud. On 19 November, the French Assembly voted 400 to 163 to reject Charles de Gaulle's resignation as President of France. 
De Gaulle then accepted the new mandate. General MacArthur ordered the arrest of 11 Japanese wartime leaders, including ex-foreign minister Yosuke Matsuoka and General Sadao Araki. On November 20, in Indonesia the Battle of Surabaya ended in tactical British victory but strategic and political Indonesian victory. On 21 November, the United Auto Workers' strike began. 320,000 workers went on strike nationwide against General Motors Corporation for a 30% increase in wages and a hold on product prices. On 23 November, British police fired on anti-British rioters in Calcutta, killing 37. On November 25, General Douglas MacArthur ordered the Japanese government to submit a program to tax away all the wartime profits of Japanese firms and individuals. Zionist terrorists blew up two Coast Guard stations near Tel Aviv. The attack was believed to have been made in retaliation for the seizure of the Greek schooner Demetrius off the Palestine coast with 20 illegal Jewish immigrants. In search of terrorists 10,000 British troops started search operation on 26 November, the encounters killed nine Jews and 75 injured. In November 28, the Balochistan earthquake shook British India. Casualties have been estimated from 300 to as many as 4,000. British fascist John Amory surprised the nation when he pleaded guilty to high treason for making broadcasts for the Nazis, even though British law did not allow any sentence for the crime other than death. His entire hearing lasted eight minutes. On November 29, in Yugoslavia King Peter II was deposed and the monarchy was ended. The Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia was proclaimed. Thank you for watching WIH TV.